All right, we're going to talk about lines in preparation for our next project. So you're going to write your paper lines, L-I-N-E-S, and your name over at the other side. Yes, we are using an ultra-fine permanent marker. Draw a line here. First one we're going to talk about is straight, S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, -T, horizontal, H-O-R-I-Z-O-N. T A L, and that is just this line right here. It's the one that's lying down like it's taking a nap. Next, we have straight, S T R A I G H T, vertical, V E R T I C A L, and this is our lines that go up and down like trees. Then we have straight, S T A S T R A I G H T, diagonal. D-I-A-G-O-N-A-L. And that's our lines that look like that. They're at an angle. Now we're going to get into a little bit different lines. So next one is, is a curved line. C-U-R-V-E-D. And it can have a little bit of multitude ways. It can be skinny. It can be long. It's all of those right there. Any of them are curved. When you put them together, they look like little hills. Next, we have a zigzag. Z-I-G dash Z-A-G. So this is just your zigzag. It can be long and drawn out, be tiny, these are all different examples of a zigzag. All right. Now this one's kind of fun. This one's got a special name. It's called rectilinear. R-E-C-T-I-L-I-N-E-A-R. -E -E this means it's made up of all right angles. So this is how you get your castle tops. Any kind of line that has a right angle is going to be called rectilinear. Note, I got a little crazy there, so it's not all perfect, but that is it. Next is your wavy line, W-A-V-Y, or S line. Now, a wavy line is just like it says, it's wavy right? And be kind of curvy back and forth. It can be slow and gentle. But when we get with an S line, it's really important to know that you can do an S like that. And then if we come here and curve it back, we get waves. There we go, S lines, and they're just S's. All right, the last line that we're gonna talk about in general is a spiral line, S-P-I-R-A-L. And this is pretty much what it says, a spiral line. It can become in any kind of shape, it's still a spiral. There we go. We're gonna draw a line here. Feel free to pause this as we're going because I want to make sure that you're able to do it, and I'm going quick. Line variety, V-A-R-I-E-T-Y. This means variations on your lines. So we have either the thick or bold line. Now I have a really thin tip here, so how we do that is we make ourselves a tiny rectangle and color that line in. That's how we can get ourselves a bold line. This can go for just about any kind of line. Then we have the one that we've been using, the thin line. This is just your line like that, right? Varied width, V-A-R-I-E-D space W-I-D-T-H. A varied width line is one of the most useful lines that you're going to have for making something look dynamic. 
So I'm going to start off with just a wavy line here, right? Now, to create that thin line into a varied width, which means thick and thin, is I'm going to go here and just do a little scoop, kind of like that. And then we're going to come up and fill it in. The goal is to make it look like it was made with one pin so that it looks all nice and smooth and like it was done by one thing. So that's a varied width. Next is dotted, D-O-T-T-E-D, -T -T -E and that is just as it sounds, dots. And come in a multitude of styles and shapes. So it's always like that. Next is a dashed or broken, D-A-S-H-E-D -E slash broken, B-R-O-K-E-N. And this is just your line like this. And yes, it can flow around to other things. Then the one that we're going to be looking at the most is a combination line, C O M. B-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. -I That's an N, not an M. And this is where we combine different lines. So here's a dotted and a dashed. And we got curved and dotted. This is where the magic happens with lines looking interesting. It doesn't have to take much to be a combination line, but it does look really good. Next, we have the expressive lines, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-I-V-E, -E -E, lines. Now, these ones are personal. Nobody else is going to have these but you. So don't copy mine, but they also can't be the basics that you have right up here. They need to be a little bit more. So we're going to start off with angry, A-N-G-R-Y. This is my angry line. This is my line that's just arg. Then we're going to do our happy line. Again, don't copy mine. Mine are going to be what works for me and my kind of happiness. It's not all about what my happiness is. It's about what yours is. There's my little bee. Happy. Then we're going to do anxious, A-N-X-I-O-U-S, or nervous, N-E-R-V-O-U-S. Now, anxious or nervous is how you feel sometimes before a test or when you tell someone they look nice or when something else happens. So uh, this is a line that is up to you on how it looks. So anxious or nervous can be a lot of different things, but that's what mine looks like. My next one is sad. Again, this can be whatever you want, however you want it to be. It's 100% up to you. There's my sad. My last line is going to be 100% me. No one else in the world will have this one because it is your very own personal, personal line. Nobody can have it. A personal line is your signature. Now, don't worry if you can't write cur cursive because sometimes a signature is the printed name. It's how you write your name out. So if I'm doing nice things and trying to make my name look really nice, I am going to... Make sure I do a good job. So this is our different types of lines. So we have it nice, and this is my quick scribble. I could also do my initials, which is how I do it. But nobody else in the world is going to have this. So these are the lines that you need to practice before we get going on our project.